Today we're going to make uh, a decorate an art themed cake. So first you need a cake. I made a lemon cake because I like lemon cake. And you also need frosting. We have buttercream frosting but you can use whichever one you want. So first we're going to do a crumb coat. You put a, a crumb coat, it's a, a thin coat over the cake. And it's to make sure that when you're doing your final layer that none of the crumbs get into it. So take your frosting and put a big scoop on the top. Then smooth it out over the top. It's fine if you get little pieces of your cake on top of the um, the frosting because we're going to put another layer on top of it so it all go away. Now we're going to do the sides once the top is all smooth. So take another big scoop and bring it to the side and just flatten it out towards the side. So now, when you're done with your crumb coat, we're going to put it in the fridge to let the icing set. After cooling the cake, we transferred it onto a cake stand, and now we're going to put its final coat of frosting. And we're doing that with um, a large icing tip with the leftover buttercream that we used for the crumb coat. Now I'm frosting the sides. Next, smooth out the cake. Once you have finished frosting the cake, you have to put some of the accessories and decorations on top. We're putting a palette, um, a paintbrush, to, and tubes of paint along with a little drizzle on the side. So now we're going to decorate the cake. So, but to make the accessories, what we did was we got some brown fondant. For, to make the palette, we got some brown fondant and um, made it into a circle and cut out the grooves that go into the palette along with some colored fondant that we colored with food coloring and we molded them different shapes to put as paint. I also did, did the same to make the palette and the paintbrush. So to decorate first, we have to put on some of the gumballs. Next, we're going to melt the, the candy melts with a double boiler so and then co color them different colors to drizzle on the top of the cake. Now with the candy milk that we melted and colored, we put them into a piping bag to drizzle around the edges.
once you have put all um, the, the color, the candy melt drizzle, we're going to put the decorations on and arrange them. So you can put them wherever you like, but make sure you leave room in the middle to write the recipient's name. 